Hi everyone. So this is my third video for the day because it's too hot for me to go outside. So I am going to introduce to you, uh, or you may already know about Child Flow for uh, Power Automate. So what is Child Flow? Child Flow is a flow that you can call from your other Power Automate flows. It's good thing to have child flow because it makes your flow more organized. And then within a flow, we can call multiple child flows. And then when you want to fix a flow, you can just go into the child flow itself and fix it. Instead of going to your main flow with all the flows and it gets uh, yeah confusing and um, and difficult to maintain. So if your flow has multiple child flows, um, you can just go target the flow that uh, you have problem with and uh, fix it uh, without uh, touching the main parent flow. So without further ado, I will show you how to do this. And at the same time, resolve any issues that you may have or you are facing when you create child flow. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use office work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. I'm going to show you a parent flow, right? And I'm trying to find child flow. But it's not in there. The reason is to call a flow, a child flow, your flow needs to be in uh, solutions. So your parent flow and child flow needs to be in solutions. So click on solutions. All right. If you see it's empty here, uh, Microsoft Power Automate will ask you to create a Dataverse. Uh, I couldn't demo right here because I have done it. Uh, what you do is just follow the instructions of a Dataverse. I think it's quite easy. I think it's just a few clicks. You will be able to create a, a Dataverse and uh, you will see all your um, sample solutions in here uh, created by Microsoft. So once you see everything here, right? What you do is create a new solution. Right. Uh, select a publisher. For now, I just uh, select CDS. And then leave everything as default and then click on create. All right. If you want to research further on why you need CDS or default publisher, uh, you may Google, but for now, I will just choose CDS. And then just click on create. So right now, I don't have anything yet. Um, I will show you the one that I have created. which is a demo, right? You can see all my connections and all my uh, child flow and parent, parent flow here. Uh, what you can do is you can either create a new uh, flow, right? Or you can add existing flow to this uh, solution. So you can go add existing automation and go to uh, Cloudflow, right? Then it will show you all the flows that you want to add into this solution. So let me um, open up the parent flow that I have uh, created. Um, 
So what you can do is uh, you can create this new parent flow with this new button or add existing flow, right? So scheduler two is our parent flow. Uh, click on it. So this flow is in solution, remember? So if I click on edit, if I click on new step, and then when I search for child flow, now you can see this run a child flow. Right. You can then select your child flow, right? And then put in the parameters. So before I save or anything, I go back to the solution again. And I want to show you how to create a proper chart flow. So you go back to solutions. Click on uh, demo, which is my uh, solution name. Uh, click on chart flow. Right, for chart flow, you always start with manually trigger a flow right then you can add input so this add input is uh for you to put the parameters that you need to run that flow right it's okay if there's there's no uh, parameters uh, but but most of the time you will need a parameters so that you will get the information from the main flow and run your child flow right so for in this instance, for this sample, I create a parameter email and the default is uh, the, the uh, a fake email, right? So what I do is, I want to show you, um, I go back to the solution, right? Uh, I'm going to show you two problems that you will face right when you add a child flow so if i click on new step i click i select child flow run oh i got it wrong child flow right so I can select that child flow. Then I need to input the parameters. The parameters can be uh, a, a, a dynamic content from uh, your parent flow from the previous flows, right? Uh, so you can select anything, right? Or you can uh, hard code things, right? Maybe uh, email to add uh, power automate um, normally it's a dynamic content normally uh, you will get something from the previous flow from uh, from here all right for now i'm just going to put um just something uh, then if you see up here there's uh, two errors, right? Because we didn't set up the child flow uh, that Power Automate requires. One is you need to update the child flow for action to end with a response action, right? I'm going to show you how. Um, and then you need to update the child flow for action to not use run only user connection, right? That's all right. So what we do is we go back to the um, child flow. So go to solutions. Go to demo. Click on child flow. Click on edit. So the first error is it needs a respond uh, operation.
So what you need to do is you close off your child flow with respond to a power app or flow. All right. You can uh, add an output. It's optional. For now, I leave it as nothing. Click on save. All right. Now we are going to fix uh, the other problem. So you go back. Over here, under run only users, click on edit. And then uh, it doesn't like that we, pro, uh, we select provided by run only user. So what you do is um, use, change it to use this connection and uh, use this connection, right? Uh, depends on your connections. It, mine is right now is use this connection MS as well. Uh, for your your child flow, you may you might have uh, other uh, connections, but just avoid using run only user. Then you click on save. Right. Then uh, go back to solution. Click on uh, demo, click on the parent flow. And then click on edit. Then click on new step, child flow. Run a child flow. Now you can select a child flow. And then you can put in uh, anything here. And then uh, you click, if you click on flow checker, there's no more error. All right. Uh, yeah, I want to show you the beauty of run a child flow. You can add a parallel branch to your parent flow, right? And then you can trigger another child flow. Right. So it's it will be really really your your flow will be really organized um if you do this uh, instead of having a big flow with everything in it uh, which uh, makes it harder to maintain i hope you guys like this video if you like this video please give this video a like and please remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to buy me a coffee click on the paypal link below or give me a super thing super thanks but i would prefer a paypal because I get 100% of that uh, value. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a nice day. Hopefully, see you soon in another video. Bye-bye. Thank you.